Good morning, everybody. It is the day after Christmas, the 26th. And my bad, I haven't been uploading for a little bit. You know, I've been taking a little break. I hooped on uh, the, the 24th, so. And then 25th, all the gyms were closed, and your boy was just chilling. Took a nice little off day, but now we back to it. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard to wake up today. But we in this motherfucker, so we gotta attack it. And today, we got legs. So, let's get warmed up. Starting off with some RDLs here. <clears throat> Just a plate on. And then here I'm gonna stay in my range of motion. So about right here, come right back up, and then I'll probably go down mm, right about mid quad. <clears throat> Feel the stretch. <sighs> like eight reps and then we're trying to get in the groove of things right now so uh, we'll just go plate by plate and then hopefully get up to about three plates again for a working set I don't think I've done um, RDLs with the barbell for maybe like a few weeks so probably ease into three plates and see how that feels I'm not gonna lie the boy feels a little sluggish coming back in here and I did wake up hundred and eighty seven point two pounds so we're a little bit um, creeping up there past our 185 like kind of baseline that I wanted to set for this bulk. But that's okay, because I think we might run a little mini cut in January, see if I could lose like five to five to eight pounds or so and kind of keep me on track to stand within 20 pounds of my stage weight or 25 pounds of my stage weight. Kind of want to get a little closer to that. I don't know, I just feel a little better clothes fit better when I'm like 175 um, and yeah I don't, I don't know I just feel better maybe if I could be a little bit more disciplined with my diet I could stay kind of um, closer to like 175 I know I feel better there but last leg day I felt super strong and I did four plates for um, like 10 reps and that was pretty like easy on the hack squat so I don't know kind of just going with the flow with this bulk just making sure and I've been slacking on my protein lately so gotta have a shake today maybe two all right let's get back we got 275 on the bar let's see how this feels all right guys this will be my last warm-up set got 275 on here and hopefully this feels pretty light. Okay, strap up. Three, two. Ah. <coughs> All right. And didn't feel too bad feeling that out. So we're gonna go to three plates and then we're gonna shoot six to eight reps. All right, y'all. We in the first working set. We got 315 on here. So let's see how this motherfucker feels. I'm shooting for six to eight. And all I'm, I know I just gotta keep my core nice and engaged throughout the movement. And I'm gonna stop about like mid, mid quad or so. All right, come on. Let's focus up here. Okay, three, two, one. All right, wait, wait, come on, okay, let's go. Ah, shit. All right, that was kind of like a grinder. 
Hmm. Kind of like forced that last rep. I wonder if I should just move down to 275 and yeah. I was gonna go two sets here, but we'll kind of strip the weight back and touch. Maybe 285, 295, and then go for like 10 or so. Take some rest here. Whew. All right, guys, we back with the top set, and we're gonna shoot for another eight. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna drop the weight a little bit, but I kind of remembered that I, I got that dog in me. You got that dog in you. We you give up, so we gonna stay here. Fuck all the bullshit. All right. We're not gonna know what this feels like. We already know what this feels like, so we're not gonna see. We know what this feels like. Now we just gotta tap in. Tap in. All right, come on. Three, two, come on. Seven felt great. Probably had like two reps in the tank. So we're gonna move up next week. And gotta stay more disciplined about using this so we can progressively overload and keep moving up each week. Oh God, yeah, that felt good. So now we have to finish up the hamstrings. Probably end up with the seated leg curl. No, I don't like the seated leg curl here, so we'll do line hamstring curl and then maybe a, a leg press with a higher stance and finish off with calves maybe adductors or abductors we'll see but overall i um, super super happy about this i know i had a little bit more weight on prior to um, a few weeks ago i think i did like 335 or so but 315 for two sets. Nothing to nothing to whine about. Alright guys, we're in the seated leg curl. I really don't mess with this machine much, but actually let me fix this real quick. I don't really like how it slams into my shin like this. But the seated hamstring curl is taken, so we're using the next best thing. Alright. Six A reps, two sets. God damn, hold on. Is that six? That's how we got there, but I feel like it's like I'm break my, this my tibia. But we're gonna stay here. We'll do one more set and then head into like a leg press. All right, guys, we're back. I kind of want to do like a drop set on this one. So we'll probably hit six and then we'll drop the weight and do as many as we can after. I'm trying to get the padding right. Kind of feels okay. Let's see. Three, two, one. Okay. Now we're gonna try and control it actually a little bit more. Ugh. <sighs> 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 
Alright, man. Uh, that shit felt good. Whenever you feel like that shit just burning, you kind of doing parcels. That's how you want to end the set. Okay, let's go into a leg press now. Alright, guys, we're on the leg press. And I did a few feeder sets to lead up to, what is this, four plates on here? So, not too heavy. But my legs are kind of fatigued from the deadlifts. So, I'm just gonna do one set here. And uh, just try and control the weight. I think I'm running out of time. So, one set here to failure. Pull yourself into the machine. Three, two, one. A failure but that was close enough now we're probably gonna head into we'll do some abduction or adduction we'll see which one I'm feeling for hips I think we'll do adduction is when you close the thigh gap abduction is when you open the thigh gap Whew. that was a kind of tough set so this workout was pretty solid. I'm gonna have to rate it like a 7.8 out of 10. I would've went up a little bit more if I had just a little bit more time. But today, the gym opened at 5 a.m., which is a little later, because I usually get here around like 4.40, 4.50, so I can get some cardio in. But now we're running out of time, and I still gotta do 10 minutes on the treadmill incline after the workout. All right, guys, this is gonna be the last set. I did like one set at 12 before this one. So we're gonna try and aim for like eight to 10 on this one. And we moved that weight. gonna conclude the whole workout and then we got I think 10 minutes on the treadmill incline so we could kind of lose the, the water weight from all the sodium we ate over the weekend I had like a bunch of chips yesterday so I gotta try and flush that out and hopefully clean up the diet a little bit better so we can get back to 185 and we'll see where we are tomorrow hopefully we're we lost a pound by tomorrow get to the 186s and then by the end of the week I'll be back to 185 we'll see